guys! It's Wednesday, and I am wearing a shirt paint on it, and I don't care. Today is a very rainy day, um, but it smells really nice outside, so that's what I like about rainy days. Okay, so the theme for this week is favorite books and authors. And... If you know me, you know that I'm not, like, super into literature, but this book is thebomb.com. It's The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I know I've told you all about it before, but, like, this is my favorite book. It's the only book of literature that I brought to college with me. My other books are textbooks and a book called Classy, which is really fun to read, and you should read it. Um, but The Golden Compass is just a tale of fantasy and romance and adventure um, and magic and, you know, everything that a great work of literature needs. And you can see that I've read this approximately 20 times because that's how much I love it. So, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. In other news, next week is a um, student symposium where people, well, students, share their research or creative projects they've been working on. So a friend and I, um, we submitted our proposal a month ago, a um, month and a half ago, and we wanted to perform a play. So we're all signed up, ready to go, but we still don't have a play. So this weekend, I'm going to be furiously writing a 15 minute play, which sounds difficult, but we're gonna get it done and it's gonna be a great show and I'm excited about it. But um, that's how I'm spending my weekend. Fun fact of the week. Nostalgia, or the feeling of kind of wistfulness, wishfulness that you get when you think about memories of the past and you wish you could return to them, kind of a combination of happiness and sadness, nostalgia, is actually an evolutionary um, result, the result of evolution, to keep us from going insane. For example, you know, I look back on my memories of summer camp fondly, whereas my mother tells me I had, a, you know, at times, a terrible time. But I don't really remember that because my brain is, you know, it's a coping mechanism, so nostalgia is a coping mechanism. And I thought that was really cool, and people who, are, there was a study done, and people who um, are nostalgic for 20 minutes a day, like if they think about the past pleasant, you know, pleasantly for 20 minutes a day, they have higher self-esteem and are happier and more cheerful. So, fun fact, you should be more nostalgic a little bit. Don't get lost in the past. I just wrote an essay about that in Spanish. I go to college. <laughs> Okay, so that's all I have for you, um, but have wonderful weeks, and I will see you next Wednesday. See you tomorrow, Molly. Bye!